covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Equifax has finally agreed to pay compensation for the massive security breach it suffered in 2017 that led to the theft of at least 146 million people's personal info. But before you get excited, the money won't be going to you, but rather to your bank, which will be paid for the hassle of having to cancel your payment cards. That's right, the credit agency has agreed to pay $5.5 million to thousands of banks and credit unions who said they were injured by their customers' details being siphoned off by hackers, and a further $25 million to beef up data security. Equifax will also cover the bank's administrative costs, attorney fees, and relevant expenses. Which raises the question, what happened to the 125 that America's consumer watchdog, the FTC, proudly announced that we would get thanks to its record-breaking $700 million settlement with Equifax? It's been more than two and a half years since they were hacked, and just under a year since the $700 million settlement was met, so it's perhaps surprising that not a cent appears to be for the people directly impacted by the cyber break-in. The $125 headline fig figure, it turns out, was made with the assumption that only a very small percentage of those el eligible would actually apply. But thanks to the sheer size of the leak, the issue was extensively covered in the press, and that massively increased the number of people who applied for compensation. This forced the FTC to admit that it hadn't agreed to a per-person fine, but rather a lump sum that would be split equally between applicants. Not only that, but behind the 700 million headline figure was a different reality. The FTC had agreed to just 31 million for the pot that was to be split equally among individual applicants. The rest was earmarked for those who demonstrated they were left out of pocket by the hack, mitigations, money for states, and so on. So while Equifax settles with states and banks and hopefully those consumers who rejected the FTC's terrible deal, it seems that no money will be forthcoming for those who have gone to the trouble of trying to get the 125 they were promised.